Beginner drummers, I'm talking to you guys right now. You know what? Maybe even some of you intermediates, too. But <clears throat> I've gotten a few emails recently, just weird coincidence. You know, everything happens in bunches around here. Um, but there's a lot of you guys that want to know how to get the left foot happening, you know, how to play that left foot while you're grooving and, and all that kind of stuff. So this lesson is for you guys. It's going to give you some really simple exercises on how you can start to get your left foot happening. Now, I just want to talk for a second about the left foot and the hi-hat and its relation to everything else that you do on the drums. A lot of drummers just kind of think that their left foot just kind of sits there and doesn't really do much until you feel like opening it. No. When I'm playing, particularly when I'm on this side of the kit, if I'm soloing or something, or if I'm on, you know, if I'm playing on the ride or whatever, my left foot is actually quite active, and yours should be too. That's the whole point of this lesson. It's important to work on your hi-hat independence with your left foot. Um, you want to basically just be able to get to the point where your left leg has one brain, your right leg has one brain, and they can work together and completely independent at the same time. The hi-hat pedal serves as a time reference for whoever else you're playing with while you're going off and getting busier, especially with the right foot. You know, if you're, especially later on when you start to get a little more experience um, with your phrasing and playing around the kit and doing all kinds of flip-flopping and stuff like that, you still want to be able to give your bandmates something to hold on to just so that they know where the time is while you're going off and doing all your stuff. So this lesson is for you beginners out there and it's just an introduction on um, how to get your left foot going. Some really simple, basic exercises that you can do. Do these things on a regular basis and you'll eventually start to separate the left foot from the right foot so that, uh, again, you know, when you're, when you're grooving or when you're doing anything else, playing fills or whatever, um, that left foot can stay constant and provide that time reference for the rest of the band. So let's get into these exercises. This is going to be real simple. Um, I'll explain this to you in a way that uh, you won't need any PDFs to do this. It's just a really simple, basic concept on getting your, your right foot going and getting your left foot going at the same time and it'll help you, uh, help you with that left foot. Now, one thing that, that I want to mention because I'm still surprised at how many drummers don't know this, but on your hi-hat stand, underneath the bottom hat, there's a little tiny screw that's underneath there. And I used to get a lot of, uh, a lot of drummers used to not really complain, but they would sort of note that their hi-hats are sitting uneven and they would think there was something wrong with that. They're supposed to sit like that. You want them to sit sort of uneven like this because there's better contact when you step on it with your left foot. There's a little more volume. If they're both exactly even, then you just create an air pocket and there's really not much going on there. So that is what that screw is for. It's so you can tilt that bottom hat so that it sits on an angle so that you get better contact with the left foot. All right, so let's get into these uh, this exercises. All we're going to do, all right, this is going to be um, just a really simple sort of groove type exercise where we're going to get the, the, uh, the left foot to do something and we're going to get the right foot to do something. Um, the biggest thing is... is going to be getting to the point where you can play whatever you want with your right foot while still keeping a consistent time reference with your left foot. So for the most part, in, in most situations, um, I'm just playing off beats 
with the left foot. So with this exercises, um, with these exercises, I should say, we're going to deal with eighth notes, all right? Because all your basic grooves, most of them you play, you know, you're going to be dealing with eighth notes. Um, so we want to get that left foot stomping out the offbeat eighths so that you can make this happen. So we're going to do this in one bar flips, all right? So it's just one bar, and we're going to count eighth notes within that one bar. So one and two, and one and two, and one and two, and one and two, and. Typically, that's how you count eighth notes. For the purpose of this exercise, we're actually going to count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that, all right? So, real simple. All we're going to do is play all of the offbeats, or in this case, the two and the four with the left foot. So, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, just like that. One, two, three, four. So the two and the four in this case, we're gonna we're just gonna play with the with the um, with the left foot. With the right hand, we're just gonna play eighth notes. Like that, and you know, basic backbeat on the snare. So we're going to start out just by playing the one on the bass drum while we're doing the offbeats and the hats, eighth notes on the ride, and uh, just simple backbeat on the snare. Sounds like a lot, but it's really easy. It looks like this. That's it, right? Super simple. So this is where we're going to start. We're going to start out with that one. We're just going to play the one or the first beat on the, uh, the bass drum. And then with each other exercise, we're going to play the next one up. So the first one, we play the one. Second one, you're going to play two on the kick. Third one, three. Fourth one, four. So let me just show you what they all look like um, so this video isn't two hours long.
So that's it, man. Believe it or not, that's all you need to do to start to get your left foot happening. That's step one. And being able to do that alone should be enough to get you through most basic grooves. Of course, you want to be able to speed up, you know, get up to tempo once, once you get used to the, to, the, um, to the feel of it. And then a really good thing to do once you do all that is to combine all four of them and play each one consecutively for maybe, you know, whatever, one bar at a time, two bars at a time, however you want to do it. But again, the idea is to turn it into a drill, man. So you want to play it five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever. Get your muscles happening. They'll start to get comfortable with it. And then, you know, before you know it, you're flying. So that's it, man. I'm going to leave you with that because that's going to keep you busy for at least a few weeks. And um, you should be able to, you know, you, you'll get used to it fairly quick. But spend a few weeks with it, you know what I mean? Get used to it. The next thing that we're going to do, you know, once we move this up to the intermediate and advanced stage, we're going to add a couple of elements to it to make it a lot more difficult. But again, the purpose of this is to get your left foot happening. Start working on that in independence between your left foot and your right foot. And then eventually, you know, you'll be able to do whatever you want with that bass drum while still keeping that constant with the left foot. So, that's it. Chew on that. Don't forget to tell people where you learned it. Like, subscribe. See you next video.